Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Sean Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn s series. And we're going to continue. So what are we going to going to continue with well I think we need to eradicate some more aliens potentially so far everything seems to be protected and so far we're surviving here not too shabby so I think that's iron down there too so and we have iron up here so there's a few iron deposits there nearby uh, with a little bit of trouble around us so I think we're going to start working towards th that kind of equipment to to kill more. So what does that mean? Well, that means I want to do military too. I want to get these piercing rounds with the grenades, which then will allow these other things. And then I think we'll need to do like oil processing. Well, we'll we'll do all of these, but yeah. See, this is steel. It's a good thing I got steel processing already. You can increase the, uh, this one, gun turret damage, um, since we seem to be using these guys. So I think this will be next after the tool belt. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. So what happened last episode, I played, I recorded, uh, but OBS crashed on me, and therefore you missed everything that I did for the last 30 minutes or so. And you know what? Reminding me, I've got to check the clock, see what time we've got. Well, let's clear out a couple of these trees here. They're kind of in the way. Okay. So, this is what I did. I added in another iron line into this. And we're going to kind of take a look at it here right now. It makes some lights as well, I think. Some lamps. Okay, so let's run down over here. So this is almost going to be full, so that means the pollution should stop. Yeah, okay, so see, as you can tell, uh, I think these resources are extracted. So you can take that out. You can take that. I think we need this to power this guy. No, okay, we can take this out. Perfect. Now these guns here have bullets in them. And they're all watching. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is all all filled up. So this one has 390 left. Okay. So there's quite a bit of resources in you know, these four here. So we don't have to run out anytime soon. And then uh, also what I did is I went up up top there and we started to attack these colonies here. But they're just way too tough. I need better equipment for them. You know, they've grown to such a size where it's almost too hard to, to take out. I think all of these slowly grow and expand and get bigger. But I'm not sure on that since this is my first time playing this game. <laughs> and up here, we went up here basically. We staged off from here and went towards those aliens to take out they're a bit too close for comfort. Uh, these guys still have quite a bit of resources, so that's good. And yeah, there, <clears throat> there we go. And where I, l I left off with the last episode, or well, the, the one that crashed, um, we were talking about kind of how to organize my base because I find it a bit disorganized. And I think it needs some work. So if I run along this track here, we'll get back to the base. How's the steel running? It's still slow. Why? Is it just slow? It just takes that long? Yeah, I guess so. Make sure there's fuel in there. Grab some more steel. Looks like I have enough plates. Those are my old equipment in there. Oh, so this is, I guess, the armor upgrade. The iron armor. Or steel armor, is it? Yeah, heavy armor. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. I didn't realize it was like that. 
Uh, are there any more guns to make? Uh, not yet. Okay. So, what do I want? I got lots of ammo. We got turrets. So let's see if we can take out the stuff down here now. We got these are the blocks. Right. Okay. Uh, these need fuel always. So let's grab some fuel from here. Put some in there. And put a bunch in there. There we go. Still lots, 15,000 in each of these. I guess I could rearrange all of these to better utilize this. So let's maybe do that. So we can kind of line up these harvesters in a better, more meaningful pattern. Put one there. If I do this, so let's change the positioning of those power poles. If I take that out, that should work still. Perfect. Okay. Let's put this on the same track. I'm in the way. And like that. And then we can do that. So it goes on the one track. I think we'll be able to. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to do it like that. Maybe we'll do the outside, and then we'll, once this runs out, we'll do the inside. Um, if you know what I mean, so basically like we'll do the outside of this, and there'll be a strip down the middle here at the near the end, once these are all empty. And then we'll take that strip, and we'll put extractors on there, but that'll be near the end of the the life of cycle of this whole thing. So let's continue placing these. Yeah, we'll do that. It's a good idea. Maybe we'll just put this one like this. So we won't, won't have too much. Put one there. Perfect. Okay. Now we want to put belts in. So how are we going to do this? I want to try and... I mean, ah, it doesn't matter if it's even or not. Maybe we'll do this. Belt up the middle. Let me do that. 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 And then maybe we'll do that. And that should allow it all to do its thing. And then we can power these guys up. Okay. There you go. So now we got this all operating, all working at peak efficiency. Well, not peak, but you know what I mean. This is for stone from the burner, which we can load up with more, which is just extracting this little tiny, tiny bit. And then these guys down here are extracting this, all this stone. Now, I could have swore I saw walls in here in my selection. And that's why I was building these stone bricks. But maybe I was looking through the research. And that's what I was talking about in the last episode too. So now what are we going to do? I'm waiting for this tool belt to finish. That's partially what I'm doing. I should put those lights on those extractors. So we can just see a little bit better. Well, I guess there's enough light here. Maybe down in this corner we'll place a light. So let's do that. Put one here. That will be enough, I think. Maybe one right there for the heck of it. There we go. Now it's nice and bright again. 
So what am I doing? What am I doing? So what was this for? This is for fuel for these things. Okay. This is the end of the line for the copper. And this is the siphon up here. Which then feeds this. Which then feeds these. Which then are used to create these green packs. Right. Which then is used over here. Okay. So they're using it, they're processing. Okay. I'm just thinking out loud. Don't mind me. We got we have everything that we need right now. Processing wise. I guess this is all just really cramped, this base. Really small. I guess the next thing to do would be to reorganize all this stuff. So let's load up some ammo in these turrets, even Though they don't get used, I just want them to be ready, always, because it's going to be disastrous if I have to deal with any kind of creatures invading, which haven't yet, but I'm anticipating it because I've seen it in a couple other videos that I've seen, 200 there. Back to working, bang, bang, bang. This is pretty quick, so it's not it's not that big of a deal. Okay, and then so this iron will get used only when it needs to be. Well, I want to build some stuff, so the tool belt's almost done here. Uh, some lag there for some reason. Let's check out those aliens. Oh, there we go. Tool bed's finished. So now that's where we want to do. Maybe we'll do the gun turret damage. Now this will actually open up flamethrower, landmines, combat robotics. Mm. Combat robots help to fight enemy with their guns. They respond from the capsules and have a limited lifetime. Some follow the player. That's cool. So maybe we'll do military too. I wonder if you need something weird for those. Coal and iron plates for basic grenades. Copper and steel plates. Okay. No, we'll be okay with those. Let's do that. Okay, military too. Copper and steel plates. So that means we'll, we'll, we'll need these up here. Or not steel plates, but steel... So we need these. We'll need copper. Where's the coppers here? Yeah, see with this kind of layout, everything's too cramped. And so you can't really... Well, I guess I can bring it over this way. Somehow we'll have to just break it apart in here. Maybe with a splitter. Around here. And then bring it down across this way maybe if you can do underground belts not sure maybe I have to bring it over turn it around okay so how are we going to do the wiring here See, it needs to be there. Okay. So I think what we can do... Fortunately, this power pole... It's not going to do me any good because if you try and bring the belt this way you need to kind of make a curve here well unfortunately the underground belt takes up a spot and then the turning belt so you need two spaces I'd have to move this over I don't know I'd have to take this all apart uh, okay choices 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 So I think we need to rebuild all this stuff. 
potentially. We got all this space over here. Alright. There we go, military three is researched. Perfect. So I think we'll figure out how to make some some stuff to kill with. Combat robotics. Okay, yeah. I want to do this because I want these combat robots. Like, I think they'll help with with everything. I mean, iron gears, electronic circuit, piercing rounds. Hmm. That's electronics. Well, we will need this eventually. Ah, this is what I, I was looking at. Stone wall. See stone bricks. So we need to research this one. Because we haven't done that one. And I think that would be okay. I'll build some stone walls to keep the, the aliens out. Build some turrets along those stone walls. And then we'll be able to manage everything. So I'm thinking building the stone walls out here. Probably. Just building them down here to seal this area off. And then up here I was going to build stone walls going probably from if I can run up here from this lake you know like from here to here and then this lake all the way up because there's these oil patches here all the way up straight up probably to the ocean here to this and then up there and then we'll just put turrets all along that to keep them out and then the same thing over on the other side because this is a huge area we can use to build in and I want to kind of reorganize all this stuff which means that we can start building kind of up here I think I think this is where we'll relocate the base and kind of create a new bigger base here sure there's stone but that's okay we'll work around that okay so that sounds like a plan but now we got piercing rounds so I want to replace my old ammo with all of this stuff so any copper plates and steel plates I want to bring these over hmm. what's the best way what do you think maybe, maybe we can take some bullets let's take this take that Okay, let's take this apart. Take those. Okay. That looks good there. Now, can I take this out? No, I can't. Ah, it stinks. So, I never do that. That's fine. So now we'll be able to take this. So I'm not using the shotgun too much, so I can take that apart. And I think we'll be able to bring the copper through here. So that means I think if we put a splitter in right here, then we'll be able to swing this belt around. And yeah, okay. This is looking good. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. This is my problem that I have. Oops. Don't want to do that. There has to be a way of doing this. So. If I bring a belt, let's see how long, how far these can go. One, two, three, four. So four spaces. One, two, three. See, and that's too close. This is too close. You know what? Maybe we'll take this all apart and we'll kind of. Um, did I finish the stone walls? It looks like there's gates. I want gates as well because you can walk through these gates. 
And since we've got stone walls, I didn't even see that research complete. To tell you the truth. So let's do gates. Since it still uses the green packs and the red packs. Now we can do yeah, now, now we can do stone walls. So let's build that production right here. We can do that kind of near the end of the ep uh, episode here, so let's start that up. We need... Okay, we need to replace these power lines. Okay, now we need to place this dude here with this inserter. And this will go into a box. And in this box, We'll make sure we have enough for ah, whatever. We'll just fill it up with the stone walls until there's no more stone. Okay, and then these guys we'll pick to make those, and then we bring it to life, just like that. Okay, and there we go. Now these are making stone walls. See how quick they they make them. Okay, cool. Ah. Exciting! Yay! So we got those defenses going. We don't have to worry about those. This ammo. Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to need you anymore, I think. There we go. Okay. You can still siphon off iron plates. Now it's just this copper situation. I need these. So unless I bring these over here. Or bring the copper over there. So I can't even. Well, maybe I can do that. Let's see here. Let's try connecting it like this. Bang. 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 And then we bring this belt this way, this way, bang, bang, okay, well, hey, this is working, this is working, uh, see a problem here, that's okay, we can, do this. Okay, there we go. We can just throw we can just throw the iron in here. Since that works. Okay. So we've got that. So this is going. So now we can bring this over. Yeah, okay, here it is, here it is. And then we bring these belts like this. Not too far. Just like that, maybe? Maybe one more down. There we go. Okay, so now if we run back this way. Let's connect it in and see what happens. Bang, bang, doof. Now it's gonna go and it will go through and we'll back up from here. So now to make these guys, okay, steel plates and copper plates. I think I can still use this, so put it right here. And put the box here. Then we can put two of these guys, one, two, and there. Now how much are we going to make of this stuff? Probably about the same. And now we bring life to this. I think we'll need two, unfortunately. There we go. Now there's life back into this. Now all this stuff is making its way all the way around through this snake. <laughs> it's 
to this way. And here we go. Starting to craft our very first piercing rounds. Woo! Exciting. Okay. Okay, I like this how this is going. Let's take a look at these down here. We got 42 of these, perfect. And I'll show you the idea that I had. So basically, from point about, probably about down here, I was thinking of starting to build a wall. And this wall would essentially, actually I should just build the wall from here to here. Because I can build the wall from down here up to here instead of this. I don't know. Let's for now just build it from here. So I used that up. That was quick. Let's take a look, see if there's more. Ah, okay. Craft, craft, craft. <laughs> there's lots of stones, so that's not a problem. This stuff is still coming down. I figured out how to load balance this. And so what that means is we do we do this, we do that, and then we use this. We pop it back onto the other side. See, so now we can do both sides. And I think I have a harvester here. There's very little here, but might as well take it. Uh, we need tracks. There we go. The tracks here. And since we have a load balancer, we can just bring this belt across, down. There we go. So now just need to bring power to it. Boom and boom. And that will be processing. That will go through that stuff very fast. And then the plan is to stick turrets kind of like this. Um, one and then kind of one, two, three, four, five. Like, like something like that. And place them along. So that way if there's attacks, then at least we're we're ready for it. So let's pick these ones up. And these will all put, have regular bullets for now. But since we're crafting the new stuff, uh, then we'll use these bullets up pretty quickly. I'm only going to put uh, 25 in each of these at the moment. Because... We just need them operational. And once they start getting used, then I'll certainly put more in there. So that's why. Let's play some more of these. I love the sound effects in this game, the music, the ambiance. You know, I like that you can kind of make these factory systems, the automation. It's pretty cool. But yeah, but thank you everybody for watching. It's been about a half an hour. So I'm going to stop right here, basically. And see, it's already balancing here. <coughs> but uh, anyways, I'm going to stop right here. And uh, I'll look forward to all of you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.